Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add integers. This video is the first video for our series with regard to the operation on integers. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of integers. At ang target natin today for this video is all about addition of integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start, itong target natin ngayon is to add integers using rows. Kasi meron tayong different ways on how to add integers. At yung inuuna una kong ginawa ay yung paggawa or pag-add ng integers gamit yung rows. First, first one. When the integers have like signs, add the numbers and copy the common sign. Now, binasa ko to para mapuntahan natin yung situation natin. This one is based on two different integers. First, we have the like signs. When we say like signs, meron tayong two signs of integers. We have the positive numbers and negative numbers. Now, if you have like signs, ito yung situation natin. Positive plus positive, like signs. Negative plus negative, like signs. Another set of signs na meron tayo ay tinatawag natin unlike signs. We have positive plus negative. One is positive, one is negative. They have different signs. That's why they are under unlike signs. Another situation in adding two integers with Unlike signs, if one is negative and the other is positive. So ngayon, alam mo na yung like signs at unlike signs natin. Kapag like signs, both positive or both negative. Kapag naman unlike signs, the two integers have different signs. Now let's move on and let's go again with the first rule. When the integers have like signs, like this one, Add the numbers and copy the common signs. So later on, we will elaborate that in our examples. Next, number two. When the integers have a like signs, subtract the numbers and use the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. For rule number two, ito yung makikita natin situation. Magkiba yung signs ng integers. But before we start doing these examples, meron dito na banggit na absolute value. So, review mo na tayo, guys. Pag sinabi natin absolute value, guys, it is defined as the distance of a number or integer from zero. That's why, ang ating absolute value is always positive because it talks about the distance. Now, example tayo. Let's say, for example, the absolute value of 4. So, when we try to find the absolute value of 4, definitely, the answer is 4 because 4 is 4 units um, because 4 is 4 units far from 0. Next, how about the absolute value of negative 4? What is the absolute value of this? The absolute value is definitely 4. Why? Because the distance of negative 4 from 0 is equal to 4. Another example, what is the absolute value of negative 11? Definitely, the answer is 11. So, as you can see, your answer natin sa absolute value is always positive. Now, let's have the examples. Add the following integers. Again, add the following integers. Number one, we have negative 4 plus negative 10. Again, let me repeat. Negative 4 plus negative 10. We need to think, meron ba silang like signs or meron ba silang different signs? As you can see, one is negative and the other is negative. Therefore, we will use the first rule. According to the rule, when the integers have like signs, add the numbers and copy the common sign. So dito ang gagawin natin dito guys, we will simply add 4 and 10 and it will become 14. And copy the common signs. 
Ang common sign nila is negative. Therefore, we will use the negative sign. And the answer in number 1 is simply for negative 14. Right? Next, you can try this one. Number 2. 6 plus negative 9. 1 is positive. 1 is negative. Therefore, they have a like signs. Now, which rule? We will use rule number 2. Okay? When integers have a like signs, subtract the numbers and use the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. First, uh, what we will do here is we will try to subtract the numbers. We have 9 minus 6. Again, 9, the numbers are 9 and 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. Now, you will think, sabi dito, and use the sign of the number with a greater absolute value. What is the absolute value of 6? That is 6. What is the absolute value of negative 9? That is 9. So, mas mataas yung absolute value ng negative 9. Therefore, we will copy the sign of negative. And the answer for item number 2 is simply negative 3. Now, let's move on with item number 3. We have negative 5 plus negative 5. By the way, guys, you can pause the video if you want to try answering 3. Okay, as we continue, as you can see, this one is negative 5 plus negative 5. They have like signs. What we will do is to add the numbers. 5 plus 5 is 10. And then copy the sign of this integers, which is negative. The answer is negative 10. Now let's move on with item number 4. In item number 4, there are three different integers. So in our example, we have 18 plus negative 11 plus 3. Now, in my case, I can do that mentally. But in your case, if gusto mong dahan-dahan natin yung discussion, ang ginagawa ko rito, guys, I will recommend that by 2 ang gawin mong pag a add ng integers. At ang ginagawa ko rito, I will find if meron bang integers na like signs. Example, we have 18, negative 11, and 3. Usually, ang gagawin mo, yung magkasunod. Right? Pero ako, what, will I, what I will do is I will add first 18 and 3 because they have like signs. Right? And we know that 18 plus 3, that answer is simply 21. The answer is 21. 18 plus 3 is 21. So I still have 21 plus negative 11. Ang next step rito is I will apply the rules. Kung apansin nyo, this is positive and this is negative. So they have unlike signs. I will use this. Subtract the numbers because they have unlike signs and then copy the sign of the number or the integer with the greater absolute value. So if I only think 21 minus 11, the answer is 10. Now, which one has the greater absolute value? Is it 21 or negative 11? The absolute value of 21 is 21. The absolute value of 11 is negative 11 is 11. Therefore, the number with the greater absolute value is 21. That's why we will have a positive sign. Or, guys, if the sign of the number or integer is positive, no need to write positive. It is considered as positive 10 or simply 10. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 5. We have negative 9 plus negative 10 plus negative 6. So all of them have the same signs. So what will I do is I will add the numbers 9 plus 10 plus 6. And that is 9 plus 10 is 19 plus 6. Your answer is 25. And based on the rule, copy the sign of copy the common sign of the integers. Since all of them have the negative signs, I will 
put a negative sign here and my answer is negative 25. That's it guys. Kaya kaya nito. Maraming, maraming, ano, maraming tutorials about this na kung saan um, they will show you different ways but we have the same rules. But this one is my way on how to add integers and I hope na makuha mo yung method natin gamit yung rules na meron tayo on how to add integers with like signs and like signs. And for your activity, based sa ating examples, I will allow you to answer, I will allow you to answer number 6 and number 7. For number 6, you have negative 8 plus 6. In number 7, you have negative 4 plus 25 plus negative 15. And your answer, gusto makita sa ating comment section. By the way guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Dorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!